We're using shared components between a Blazor and Maui app. Maybe you have an existing website and you want to reuse those components in a new Maui app or the other way around. Maybe you started mobile first and want to reuse those components in a new website or launching a brand new project targeting both web and mobile. In any of these scenarios, it's ideal if you isolate shared functionality into a library for both projects to reference. And that's what we'll be doing here. I'll be using JetBrains Writer. Let's launch and create a new solution. I'm going to start with an empty solution, which I'll name Example. We're going to create three projects in the solution. There'll be a Blazor web app, a Maui Blazor app, and we'll share components between them in a Razor class library. Let's start with the web application by adding a new project. This will be an ASP.NET Core web application project. We could use either Blazor server or Blazor WebAssembly, but I'm going to use Blazor server in this example. I'll call this example web. Create the project. And here's the basic scaffolding that a Blazor project starts with. We can run this example in a web browser and we see the familiar Blazor starter app consisting of a home page, counter, and mock weather service example. Let's create a new project for our shared components. This will be a Razor class library. And if you're using Visual Studio, make sure to deselect the supports, pages, and views option. I'll call this example web components. Our web project will reference the web components class library. So let's add that reference, selecting our example web components project. And with that reference created, we can now start moving any functionality we want to share into our new Web Components Razor class library. Anything that we move here is with the intention that we'll be sharing it between the web and new Maui app we'll be creating in just a minute. Let's start top down with the data folder and move the weather forecast and the weather forecast service. Inside pages, we don't want to move the CSHTML, only the Razor views. So I'm going to create a new directory in my Web Components project, name it pages and move only Razor files into my new Pages folder. Here in Shared, we want all these Razor views and their corresponding CSS files. And finally, we want to grab the app Razor file and move that into our Shared library. Now inside our Shared library, we need to resolve some namespaces. So let's again work top down, starting with the weather forecast. This becomes a web components. Exactly the same thing in the weather forecast service. This namespace is now web components data. And then inside fetch data, we need to reference that namespace in our using statement. The app Razor will be missing shared references that were defined inside the app's imports. Let's grab those from the web project. Copy. Paste. And we don't need authorization. We don't need this web reference. And let's change this example web to web components shared. Let's build the class library to check for errors. Looks good. Now moving back to our Blazor server web application, we'll need to update some namespaces. Here in the host CSHTML, we need to add a using statement to resolve this app reference. Import the missing reference. That using is to our example web components. Double check our imports here. And finally, in the program builder, we need to update the weather forecast service to our web components namespace. And with that, we should be able to run. And here's our app. And now if we go inside Web Components to our index Razor page and make a change, we can apply changes with hot reload. There it is. You'll likely have other assets that you want to share between projects, such as the CSS in this example. Note that the Razor class library also has a www root folder for static assets. We can simply take the CSS folder and move it into our Web Components Static Assets root. 
However, in doing so, we'll need to update some paths. For example, if you run this, you'll notice all the CSS on the site is gone. In our Blazor server web app, under Pages, find our host CSHTML. We'll update the hrefs of the CSS files we just moved. Prefix them with underscore content and the name of your Razor class library. In this case, example web components. Update both Bootstrap and our site CSS. And now we see that our styles are back. Finally, let's create a new project for our Maui app. This will be a Maui Blazor app. And I'll name it Example App. Our Maui app has a similar scaffolding. Set your run configuration target and launching shows the same starter project that we saw from the Blazor server web project. Exactly the same as with our web project, we'll need to add a reference between our new Maui app and our shared Razor class library. Select Example on Web Components. And with that reference added, we can now start removing duplicate resources. In Data, we already have the Weather Forecast service, so let's delete those. Under Pages, we already have Counter, Fetch Data, and Index Pages, so let's delete this folder. Under Shared, we already have the main layout, navigation, and survey, so let's delete these. Then note a difference in the main page example. In our Maui app, we have a main razor instead of an app razor, as we had in our Blazor server project that we moved into our web components class library. Delete the main.razor file, update our imports, Instead of using the main razor, we'll need to reference our app razor in this main page XAML. Change the namespace from local to something new. I'll go with WC since I named this web components. Set the namespace to web components, which will also contain the assembly reference. And then we can use this WC namespace to reference the app from our razor class library. And same as we updated our Blazor Web Apps Program Builder, we'll apply the same change here for dependency injection. Update our namespace for the Weather Forecast service. And with that, let's launch the app. And there it is. Exactly the same race of views in our Maui app as our web application. We now have a single source of development to share and reuse components across multiple projects.